Hi, I'm Elizabeth of Earl Grey Crochet and today I'm going to show you some of my whips and UFOs. Now that might sound a bit funny but a whip is a work in progress and a UFO is an unfinished object. The difference between those can be kind of a blurry line but a UFO is more of an abandoned project um, whereas a whip is something you might be working on at the moment. This one was on his way to becoming a beautiful little reindeer but unfortunately before I've made his arms and his ears um, I only have this much yarn left and there is an ear there but that is not enough yarn to make another ear and two arms. Um, so we'll have to hop down to Spotlight and see if there's something similar enough colour. Next up we have this little container of random body parts. See if you can guess what they might be before I show you. There's a little orange head, a little blue head, and a little green head. This is actually the second set of these I was going to make. If you haven't already guessed, these are the originals. Three little starter Pokemon. Charmander doesn't have a fire on his tail, but Squirtle and Bulbasaur have their little bulb and their shell on their backs. Unfortunately I just haven't gotten around to attaching all the pieces yet. This isn't even all of it, their arms are somewhere else. Also in my stash of unfinished objects we have a bunny with no ears, an empty cactus, some pieces of bunting, and part of a sock I started to knit. I do not enjoy knitting. I do have two projects that I am planning on finishing. The first is this little box of crochet subscription box that was released maybe in September last year. Um, it's an autumn wreath, which makes sense because it's from the UK and they were in autumn back at that time of year. And I was hoping I'd be able to finish it for autumn in Australia. It's now June and I have not finished it. So this is what the finished project will look like. There's an autumn wreath and a little autumn brooch. So far I have made a mushroom which is adorable but it's not very far along the way to an autumn wreath and autumn brooch. My current whip is the Hougat Cowl. Now a cowl is a crochet along, there's also knit alongs and stitch alongs and they're normally where a whole bunch of people work on the same project where the pattern might be released in stages or maybe everyone's just working on the same pattern. It is really nice to see other people working on the same thing as you at the same time. Unfortunately this one actually finished about a month ago so I'm quite far behind. Despite this I am really enjoying this project. It's a simple single crochet in the US or double crochet in UK stitches worked back and forth in simple rows um, with a cross stitch worked around some of the stitches. Here you can see the separators and there will be cross stitch in those panels as well. A few times in the last couple of months this project has been great to work on when I've lost my crochet motivation. It's really simple to just sit down and work out some single crochet rows or do some cross stitch and that gets me and my motivation back a bit. I am looking forward to finishing this project and then I can line it with this fabric that has this gorgeous subtle design on it. Uh, but I think I'll also miss this project. It's often I find crochet projects like a good book. You look forward to the end and you can't wait to get to the end to find out what happens or what the finished project looks like. But then it kind of, you love the process of reading and creating. And so it, the had, finishing a project or a book leaves this kind of empty space where those characters aren't in your life or that project isn't in your life. So I think I'll be a, also be a bit sad when it's finished. I'd love to hear in the comments about any whips or UFOs you might have, whether they're crocheted or knitted or maybe some other hobby you might have. My husband used to do chain mail. I'll leave some relevant links to my projects that I've shown today down in the doobly-doo and if you want to see what I'm up to more often, go check out Earl Grey Crochet on Facebook or Instagram. Bye!